Good morning. Good morning. It's nice to see you today. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hi and welcome to Story Corner. And you can see the corner of the farm I'm in today is a room full of books. And even though I'm inside, and maybe you're inside more than usual now, books can take us outside, outside to many places, like in the warm sunny garden where I'd rather be, or to the beach, even to magical places. We even have stories from all around the world available to us through books. And today's story comes from just one of those places, the country of the Ukraine. There's our Lila baby. Hi, Lila. She's inside too. Lila, would you like to hear a story? Okay. It's called The Mitten. It's a Ukrainian folktale interpreted and illustrated by Jan Brett. Once there was a boy named Nicky. He wanted mittens as white as snow. If you drop a white mitten in the snow, it will be hard to find, his grandmother told him. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens so much that Baba made them for him. When she finished knitting, <laughs> knitting Nicky put on the mittens and went out to play. It wasn't long before one mitten fell off. A little mole found it and crawled inside. It was just the right size, so he decided to stay. A rabbit came hopping by. He wiggled in next to the mole. A hedgehog wanted to get warm. The mole and the rabbit made room for him. The owl didn't want to be left out, so the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog had to move over. The little mitten was getting crowded. A badger looked out of his house and saw the mitten, and he climbed right in. It started to snow. So a fox pushed his way in and made himself right at home. Then a big bear sniffed at the mitten. The animals were packed in tight, but the bear didn't care. He crawled in anyway. The mitten was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. A tiny mouse squeezed in and perched herself on the big bear's nose. The mouse's whiskers tickled the big bear's nose. Ah, ah, chew! The bear sneezed and all the animals flew out of the mitten. Nicky saw his mitten sail up into the air. From the window, Baba watched Nikki catch his mitten. See, Baba, he called to her. I have both my mittens. And Baba smiled. I'd be smiling too. And I think all those animals should have been smiling because they already had their fur, feathers, and fluff to keep them warm. But being all cuddled in that mitten, they must have been nice and cozy. Thanks for visiting us on Storytime. See you next time. Back to work.
pretty cozy. I'm gonna go right in now. 